February 3rd, 2021. Um, God's will is prosperity. For you to be a steward of wealth, money, power, powers. Only God's people, that is, people born again in Jesus Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, delivered of their junk, demons, curses, deception, and mess, uh, renewed mind and heart with truth. Uh, minimum, memorizing the Bible, that's minimum. That's just first grade kindergarten. Then you, there's other things Jesus wants to show you. Powers of the age to come. Um, other giftings and Bible says in Hebrews, let's go on to other things. If you're, you know, you, but you got to get ready for that. And there's more things Jesus did and taught that are not written, but he wants to teach you and bring you into. So God wants you to be the, a steward of power, powers. And money is one, and great, sorry, great wealth. I'm talking about it minimum in the tens of millions realm. Uh, levels of wealth. Uh, minimum million realm, U.S. dollar million level. He wants you to be a steward of power, money power, uh, uh, government power. That means good Christian, Holy Ghost people in the positions of authority in government. Um, and uh, he should be the teachers and professors and airline pilots and uh, owners and leaders of businesses, owners and leaders of banks, um, to, to take it away from the devil's people, the children of the devil, the corrupt, wicked people. Take it away from them and bring it the Bible says, uh, take, uh, occupy, uh, have dominion, rule and reign with Jesus. Let Jesus rule the stuff through you, through you, through you, through you, through you. Don't tell God to do what he told you to do. But you're fearful and selfish and you're not a warrior. You know, you got this slave mentality, most of you, most of you. And you don't have a king, child of the king mentality. You don't have a God mentality. You don't have a heaven mentality. You don't have a child of God mentality. You still got your Egypt Babylon mentality. You got to get delivered. You got to get renewed and transformed. You need inner healing and deliverance. Everybody, all of you. Because you're not walking in. If you're not getting all your prayers answered, then you need inner healing and deliverance. More and more and more. And that's it. I don't care what you think. I've been doing this 30 years. I've been to over 30, what, two countries or more? Uh, <laughs> forgot, but. Uh, I know it works and I know it doesn't work. And the things that are blocking God coming through you is your soul and your spirit that's blocked up with the things of the world and the devil and flesh and curses and iniquities and death and reaping of wrong. You got to confess and repent like Nehemiah, Ezra, Daniel chapter 9, John the Baptist was doing it, James 5.16. And, and, and clean it out with the power of your words to confess and break and repent and speak your alignment with, you know, God, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And then your spirit and soul is getting unblocked like an air filter, like a water filter. And God can flow through you more and more and more. And then you'll get what's available. What's you're looking for? What's available? The names of God. The, the definition of Shalom, Yeshua, Sozo, Soteria. Go and see what that means. Old and New Testament, what is the real, de full full definition of the word save salvation? What does what all does it mean? What What's there? Forget not all of his benefits. Psalm 103, most of you don't even know what they are. You know, faith is some things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Well, you can only have faith for and get what God has for you, but you need to go and find out what's available and then you can pull on it and use your faith to get it. And so, anyway, God wants you to prosper. Third John 2, he, I'm doing this all by memory. The Lord started talking to me here. I'm driving and I'm telling you fresh bread. 
Beloved, I pray that you prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. But the, the context of 3 John is about truth. So Jesus said, be not deceived, uh, Matthew 24, Luke 21. Don't let no, anyone deceive you. Paul picks it up and says, don't deceive yourself. And so, um, and you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Um, that's, that's John 8. And uh, so you don't want to be deceived by the world and the flesh and the devil, but you want to be learning and knowing and accepting and thinking and speaking and living truth, God's truth, which you find in the word of God and by the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth. And, and transform your mind and your heart, your spirit and soul, body, mind and heart, you know, to know God's truth and, 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 and accept it and believe it, agree with it, align with it, and then you'll speak it and you'll have whatever you say it. And that's how it works. And so the Bible is very clear. God wants you to want to prosper. One of the names of God is prosperity. The salvation of God includes prosperity, great wealth, God's level an opinion of wealth and abundance, which is going to be in the billion realm and take it away from the devil worshiping evil people that are illegally occupying those levels of wealth and power and money and influence and um, uh, authority and power. Take back authority and power away from the devil's people and bring it under the stewardship of God through you, through you, through you, his people. And if you got good people that you know of, like Devin Nunes or Jim Jordan or uh, Ted Cruz and different ones, help them. Give them money to help them. And then you and the others get in there and take over and then help train the younger ones to be godly leaders. And then that's the only way you're going to take back the earth and make it safe in the name of Jesus Christ. You, Christianity is not a spectator sport. You got to participate. You got to get in the arena. You got to get in there and fight and rule and reign. And that's how it is in Jesus Christ's name. So God wants you to be wealthy. Money answers all things. Money is a defense. He wants you to uh, be faithful with, with money so he can start Given you the powers of the age to come and the different anointings and powers of God and co-laboring with the Holy Ghost to raise the dead and heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, and, and win souls and all that. But uh, prove that you don't trust in money and mammon by uh, tithing and offering and, and, and being a good, proper steward of money. And um, you got to lay up a godly inheritance for your children's 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 children or you're not a good man the proverb says only a good man lays up a godly inheritance for children's 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 children to, so, so they don't have to start at square one so they can use money to fight and, and navigate through an evil wicked end times and all that so you got to have be open to great wealth and prosperity so you can take proper care of your family and lay up uh, and help your children's children's children with great wealth and prosperity. So study prosperity and get in it and, uh, and, and have it and grow in it. And we'll talk more about this subject. Help us out. Call beyond the, look at our website. Call to beyond.com. Call to beyond.com. Help us out. And we'll get some more teachings on this topic.